So what musicians inspired you? Um, musicians inspired me. Uh, Jer, Jeremy from um, Any Other Coast was a big influence. Um, Garrett from Brand New was also a really huge influence. And um, I think his name Brandon, the bassist of The Used, was probably my big th three biggest influences. You know, I actually got to meet the lead singer bassist of The Used. They are nice people. A lot of people think they're jerks, but they're nice guys. Oh, cool. very nice. Do you want a receipt? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, what band were you in before this? Um, I was in a local Florida band before uh, that band fell apart. And a friend of mine told me, was like, hey, you know, there's this band. They need a drummer. You should go audition. They're also in Florida. So I came in, auditioned, and here I am. So. Yeah, I, um, I used to be in a, a couple of local bands that played with uh, Marker. Do you have Marker in? Um, yeah, I, I used to play with uh, in other local bands around the, around like the Clearwater campus scene, um, and that's how I met like Cody, so singer, and I met a lot of the guys like that, and we all kind of made a super band. That's how that started. Uh, so, what were the bands called? Uh, my band was called Sound Camp. My band was called Memento War, which is written right here. And uh, what songs meant the most to you for those bands? Uh, probably I don't know, and. Um, yeah, probably I don't know. I think it would definitely be what, Godspeed and The Departure. Well, I haven't brought and, uh, from The Crypt. I haven't heard those songs in a minute. Uh, what song means most to you for Set It Off? Probably uh, Dreamcatcher. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably say Dreamcatcher. It's, uh, it's a pretty uh, emotional thing. Yeah. And, um,. I don't think you ever told me what musicians inspired you. Oh, uh, well, uh, the reason I started playing drums was Travis Barker. I was listening to uh, Enema of the State in 1982, and I was, just, I was about eight years old, and I was just amazed by how it sounded. I thought it was so cool. So I took it up, and uh, other than that, I'd say Questlove from The Roots. I used to be really into uh, just only rock music, and I was like, that's it. I started listening to The Roots, and I was just completely changed my whole perception of music and drums and plus he's amazing as a drummer and comes up with the coolest beats so so um when did you start being a bass player like when in life did you become uh, bass player? i was i think 12 when i first started picking it up and i was probably like 13 when i really started getting into it seriously so it's been it's been a good like 10 years of me being a, like austin Kerr's bassist i was 14 wait i was 10 when i got my first kid started actually playing when I was 14, and I'm 22 now, so math. Uh, 22, so eight years? Eight years, yes. So, um, what's your guys' dream tour? Oh, uh, Fall Out Boy would have to be a part of Yeah, Fall Out Boy. Um, probably like Fall Out Boy, like, the used, and like Aramorn. Oh, my cam? Yes. Yeah, like Aramorn. That would be great. Yeah. I heard you guys got to play in My Chemical Romance. We did. Yeah, we did. It was awesome. It was called uh, Next Big Thing, and it was this uh, essentially festival put on by uh, one of our local radio stations. Uh, and yes. a bunch of bands played, and Dan Remember played, and we got to play, and of course My Chemical Romance got to play last, which was just awesome. My bass My bass that? And uh, the lead singer of Fall Out Boy is very nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. What? The lead singer of Fall Out Boy is a nice guy. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I haven't had a chance to meet him, but I've heard a few things. And um, since you guys have been in a band, do you guys ever get starstruck by any bands? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Anytime that I, I meet a band that I'm a really big fan of, I always make sure to just not lie to them and just come up straight for and be like, yo, I'm a really big fan. This is why I'm a big fan, and then from then on, we can move on and become friends. So. Yeah. It definitely still happens. Oh, um, did you have the lead singer sing this stuff too? Hey, nice meeting you. You are my hero. Um, how'd you get the name of the band? Set it off. Yeah. Uh, actually, this guy right here listened to uh, the song "Come for the Storm" by Fall Out Boy, and uh, heard this heard the word "set it off," and it mentioned to us over the phone. And we're like, "Yo, that has the alliteration we're looking for," and so we went with it. Show's about to start. Band's getting ready. Hey. Sweet. Whoa, whoa, what is this? A Memento Bore, Broken Authority? Yeah. Are you writing down all the bands we were in? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I didn't know where you were doing that.